Hey everybody, it's Brandon, The Weekend Cruiser, where I go on a weekend cruise just about every weekend. And that means I am constantly in the Royal Caribbean app. I am using my cell phone, going into the Royal Caribbean app and seeing what is available. What does my schedule look like every single week on board the cruise? And so I've learned a thing or two and wanted to share all that with you in this masterclass. So to make sure when you get to the cruise port as, and then when you get onto the cruise ship, you're gonna know exactly what to do. Now I'm not gonna cover how to check in. I'm gonna leave that to you all to hopefully figure out. But once you are fully checked in, you've downloaded the app, look for the royal icon that is here that I have on my screen. You're gonna click on it and it is gonna take you directly into the app. First place you're gonna wanna go is you're gonna click on the profile at the very top, the profile icon, if you will. And that's gonna give you what cruise you're on or the cruise that the app is showing. If you've got a couple of them booked, make sure you've got the right one listed for you and for the sailing you wanna have questions about or just learn some more about. So this is the August 25th sailing that I'm currently on, so I am in the right one. Before you get to the cruise port, click on this view set sail pass button down here in the bottom. That's gonna give you your actual set sail pass, the barcode they can scan in to quickly get you on board if you checked in in advance. In the upper right hand corner, it's also gonna have your check-in time should you forget that. I would also say take a quick screenshot of this or a screen grab of this so when you get to the port, if there's bad Wi-Fi, not good cell reception, it's really easy to find in your photos. Just go to it, show it to the people, and it'll scan in nice and easy. The next place that we're gonna go is gonna be the ship up in the very top left. These are the three icons that you're really going to stay in, though this one, I'm gonna say you're not gonna stay in it that terribly much. The biggest thing that is on this screen that you may wanna use every now and again is say, what's on deck five? And so if you click on the ship here, it's gonna take you to a um, deck map where you can see where everything is located at. You're gonna to wanna to switch around and see, make sure what deck you are on for the bottom section, flip that to the deck that you wanna look at, and it'll show you everything that is there and you can scroll around. So great way to explore the ship without actually having to walk all around the ship. The other thing that you might wanna to come to here is gonna be the services tab. It's the only other thing I haven't found really placed somewhere else, but it'll give you some of the services that are offered on board if you need to take advantage of these. Coming back over, everything else on this screen is gonna be on the next screen. So if I click back here to the middle, everything else, all those other buttons, they're gonna be captured here. So this is really your home screen. The first thing that I'll point out though is the calendar at the top. If you double click on that calendar, it'll actually show you where your cruise ship is going. Something I forget all the time. I'm constantly having conversations with people and I'm saying, oh, I'm going on a cruise. They're like, where's it going? I'm like, that's a great question. Let me see where it's going. So I'm always double tapping on that icon, but that's one that took me months to learn <laughs> that it was actually there. The next thing that you're gonna come down, you're gonna see that there is a gangway down and gangway up time. Those are the, uh, the gangway down is the anticipated time. You'll be able to get off the ship in your port. Today, you see I am in port or in perfect day Coco Cay. All aboard for us is at 5 p.m. And you see that in small little writing here. And then we've got 83 and partly cloudy. It's actually been really rainy. So I don't know how accurate that is, um, but it's been really rainy today. The next thing you're gonna to do is where it says our gangway here, deck one midship, click on that. That's gonna give you a lot of information that you used to find on the front page of the cruise planner. By the way, they've gone green. They no longer automatically deliver cruise planners to the staterooms and you've gotta make special requests for that. But it's gonna give you all the information about when all aboard is, when you can expect to get off, towels, wheelchairs, They've got some flags information. They talk about the VAT in Coco Cay because it is a Bohemian island. And this is one that, you know, a lot of people always wonder is what do I wear? What is tonight's wear? Is it formal night? Is it dress your best? Smart casual? Caribbean? That's gonna be listed here in the dress to impress section. You've got the benefits of the Crown and Anchor Society, smoking areas, and then just wash your hands. A friendly reminder there. These do change by the day as well, so make sure that when you're going into it, you're looking at the day that you have questions on. If you wanna say like for me, I'm in Nassau tomorrow, what's, what's some information I can get for Nassau? When's my all aboard time? It's gonna be right here for you. So flipping back to the home screen, you'll then see daily planner and my calendar. So I'm just gonna swipe up on the daily planner, drag that all the way up, 
and it's gonna give me a ton of activities. So best bet is these filters at the top are gonna become your best friend. If you try to scroll through all of these, you're welcome to do it. There's a ton of them. But for your own sanity, you can really narrow them down by clicking on activities. That's gonna give you what are the activities on the ship that you can do. And you see what some of these options are here. I personally normally just always go to entertain. That is my favorite filter because it's gonna tell me when the shows are, when the movies are, when's the headliner coming on. And what I can do here is if I find one that I wanna do, let me say I wanna go see Once Upon a Time Tonight. I'm now, I clicked into it. It'll give me a description of everything about Once Upon a Time, but I can add this to my calendar. And I'll show you how this populates or comes through in a little bit later. Again, make sure you've got the date or the day down at the bottom correct. Sometimes it does get changed, but you're welcome to go through excursions. If you wanna find some excursions to do, like in Nassau tomorrow, you can do that and you can even reserve and pay for it directly through the app. And this will give you some information about that excursion. You can always go to the excursions desk to ask additional questions, but they do make it where that's not necessary anymore. So let me come over to my calendar at the very top. So Daily Planner has everything in it for whatever you wanna do. My calendar is only for those things that you have reserved. So if you went in and reserved it, maybe you made specialty dining reservations at Chops or Azumi, that's gonna show through in your app. And you see that my production showtime, once upon a time that you saw me reserve has fully made it into my calendar. They used to, and I haven't seen these recently, um, you used to get notifications about these. So, you know, you'd get notifications 30 minutes prior. I think I'm still getting them. Maybe I don't even see them anymore because I'm just accustomed to them. Um, but I think that you actually get notifications, which is great for me because I definitely get distracted doing other things. So if I pull this back down, we're going to see all of the icons now down at the bottom. So you can go into dining. This is one that I use a lot because I'm a growing boy and I get hungry. So if you are hungry now, this is gonna give you a list of all of the restaurants and venues you can get food that are currently open. If it is closed, it's not gonna be listed here. So if you come in here at three in the morning, you're not gonna see anything listed. If you come here at, you know, this is lunchtime because it's 2.06, you're gonna see a good number of things listed, including those things that are on Coco K that are also open. Though if you have questions about other things, you can click on restaurants and learn about the different table options um, or chef's table. You can learn about Chops Grill, El Loco Fresh. It's gonna give you information for all of the restaurants. It's gonna give you information for main dining. The neat thing to main dining, if I click on, let's say deck four here, I can see when the first seating is, when the second seating is, your C-Pass card or your set cell pass will let you know what time you're going. Click on menu here, and this will actually show you what the menu is gonna be for the night that you are looking at. So for tonight, first seating, here's all the food that they're going to have. And they have a ton. So make sure you are scrolling through all this, getting prepared, and you can see what they're offering. Again, make sure you've got the right day selected. So if you wanted to say, hey, I'm finishing up dinner, I'm already kind of curious what they're gonna be having for tomorrow, click on that, and you can scroll down and see what all they're going to be serving for dinner tomorrow night and start deciding what you want. Maybe you're somebody that takes a little while to figure out what, what's for dinner for you. It's also gonna give you bars and lounges. We've got plenty of those on Royal Caribbean ships. It's gonna give you the hours of operations as well as you can kind of see what the menu's gonna be at the bar there. So some of the bars have different menus. So you can kind of check out and see what you may want to order. Most of the time though, they can always make the same drink in other bars if you can find someone who knows about it. Coffee and snacks is another one. Sprinkles here, this is a fan favorite for the children. Make sure you're checking it out. This can give you the hours that it is open. That is the soft serve ice cream and it's complimentary on board Royal Caribbean. There's normally a strawberry, a vanilla, and a chocolate. Strawberry might be hard to come by, uh, but it's one of my favorites. Coca-Cola freestyle sections, stations. This will show you where they're at if you've bought the refreshment package, or if you just wanna see what's available in Coco K, you can do that on the last option. Again, we already kind of talked through excursions a little bit, but you can come through here, book your excursion, pay now, and see what all is available in Nassau, or you know, if you've got several other ports that you're coming up on, it'll list all those as well. The internet option here, 
does not seem to be doing anything right now. So, you see me clicking on it? Nothing's happening. I do already have an internet package. Traditionally, this is where you'd want to go to get your internet or buy your internet. You can do it from a laptop if you brought one, but you can go in here and do it there. I wonder if it works on this one. If I click on internet packages there, perfect. You see that I can reserve it now or buy it on here. So it does walk you through how to do the internet package. If it's just a weekend though, you don't really have to get the internet package if you have a good international plan. Coming back to our home screen, safety. This you will want to use before you get to the ship to watch your safety video, as well as listen to the seven short and one long blast for the emergency horn. If you don't do this before you show up, when you check in, they will ask you to listen to the demonstration that they're gonna do. So this will allow you to get to your cruise quicker, and that is always the main goal for a weekend sailing. I'm gonna skip on account because that shows you all of my account information, but that's where you're gonna to go to see what, you know, how much have you spent? Have the onboard gratuities hit? Did I spend anything in the shops? Did I buy drinks? And it's also gonna show you what credit card you have on file or debit card. You'll be able to also update that card. I've not tried that in the system yet, so hopefully it works well, but if you wanna change the card, maybe made some additional purchases or decided, actually I wanna get points on this one, you can always switch that in the app or go to guest services. For depart, this is gonna take me back to the profile picture and it's gonna give me the information for me getting off the ship. So you're gonna get the luggage tags in your room that you can put on your suitcases. And if you allow the um, stateroom attendants and the stewards at the port to take these out for you, or the porters they're called, um, you're gonna to wanna to follow this time here. If you're doing self-assist, you're simply just gonna walk your bag off yourself, go whenever they uh, open it up. They'll send you an actual letter. That's not included in here for some reason, but they will send you a letter to your cabin. Health. This is gonna talk about basically how to stay healthy. You don't really need to read all this. You will know all this, it is intuitive. The interesting thing that they have here is they don't list what to do should you get sick. So on Royal Caribbean, if you have a medical emergency, dial 911 from a ship phone. If you dial 911 from your phone looking at the app, you're gonna get some random 911 call center that is on shore and it's gonna do you no good. Make sure you're using the, the ship phone to call 911. Normally there is a non-emergency number as well to get up with the medical staff. Here on Royal Caribbean, that is star 51, I believe. Don't hold me to that. I'll put a caption if I need to update that. But that is the health information if you need to get some, get some medical attention. And then you've got stateroom here, which doesn't work on Freedom of the Seas. And I think that it does work on the newer uh, ships that are out there that have more technology to them, but it doesn't work on freedom of the seas for us. The other thing that I'll quickly call out in the upper right hand corner, you're going to have invite to chat. So if you want to message other people, I honestly don't know a lot about this because I have never actually used it because I buy the Wi-Fi package or I get the Wi-Fi package when I come on board. So I just use my normal messaging tools and use the data in order to do that. But my understanding of how this works is you're gonna to need to have a linked reservation to that other person in, able, in order to chat with them. It is free, there used to be a fee for it, but these days there's no cost, but you gotta have that linked reservation. Be on the safe side here, you know, if you are buying the Wi-Fi, I would use what you normally, ways you would communicate, because it's probably gonna be encrypted. If you're communicating via the Royal Caribbean app, just know the Royal Caribbean's gonna be able to see everything that you're writing and they can log that. And you know, that's just a privacy concern that I personally have. All right, so that is a very quick rundown of how to use the app, everything that is listed there. I'm so glad that they have made some improvements to it. I look forward to it being improved even more in the coming years as well. All right, everybody, this is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser, hoping you now know how to use the Royal Caribbean app and you quickly find where you're looking to go on your next Royal Caribbean sailing.